Okay, so I've showed you an app um, where you can kind of post things about stores in your neighborhood. And I showed you kind of how to lay out the components in one video. And then in another one, I showed you kind of how to code the interactive behavior and to show when, when the submit button, the posted button's clicked, I want to add whatever the user's entered into my list. And then I want to show that list in, in the list viewer. Okay, I just want to clean up a couple things and let me show you what I mean um, about the user interface. And, and one thing is, is if I, if the user touches the input text box to start entering things, but they don't enter anything and they just click post it, you'll notice an empty item shows up in our list. And I don't really want that, right? So I only want to add, allow entry if they've entered some text in here. Okay, the second thing is um, I want to blank out this entry when they do put something in. So like, let's just say someone enters um, hello, and they click post it. Um, right when they enter that, I do want to put whatever they entered in the list, but I want to blank out the input text box um, right away. So it's, that should that should have the hint because if you if you set that text to blank, the hint will reappear. All right, so let's let's code those two things up. The first thing is an if statement. So Thunkle will let you kind of make blocks be executed conditionally. So I'm going to drag that if statement in there. I'm only going to do these blocks, adding the item to the list under a certain condition. Okay, and what my condition is going to be, is this text box empty? Is the if, you know, and if the hint is showing, that means the text is actually empty. All right, so I'm going to go grab from the logic an equals block. Actually, I'm going to grab a greater than block. And what I want to know is, is the length of what they've entered, is it greater than zero? So I'm gonna grab a zero block from the math drawer. And what I wanna know is the length of what they entered, the text input dot text, is it greater than zero? So I'm gonna grab that block, command C and command B, command C copies, command B will paste it, and now I'm just gonna grab it. And essentially what I'm saying is only if the length of the text box is bigger than zero, do I wanna actually insert whatever they've entered into the list? Okay, so that should take care of the first thing. And just to test it out, I'm gonna go over to my um, iPad. And if I touch here, but don't enter anything, if I click post, notice nothing happened. It did not add a item to my list. So good, it looks like we fixed, fixed that problem. The other thing is once they post something, we just want to empty out the text box. So I'm going to come over here to text input. Instead of getting the text that they enter, I'm going to change what's in that text box. And there's already an empty block there, but I'm just, that's kind of the default. I'm going to grab a empty block from the drawer. And now um, when they enter something and when they post it, hello shows up as the first item, but notice now the prompt comes back because I have emptied out the text that they entered instead of having hello still there.